Hello guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up your own TF2 trading bot that will trade automatically for you. So let's get right into it. So we're going to go to the TF2 Autobot wiki. I will put the link in the description. Then click on the wiki. Then we're going to go to the before you start section. So you need to make sure you have a premium Steam account and a premium TF2 account so you can actually trade. So after you upgraded your Steam account, you're going to set up your Steam Desktop Authenticator. But to be clear, if you set this up, you're going to have to wait 15 days until you can I finally use the bot. So just follow the setup as shown on screen. Okay, so we actually have to set up a Steam Desktop Authenticator is because you're gonna have to have two codes from it. You're also gonna have to set up your backpack.tf, but that's gonna be later in the video. So after you've downloaded your Steam Desktop Authenticator, we're gonna go and create a new folder and call it TF2 bot to make sure everything is in one place and easy to come back to later. So after that, we're going to extract the Steam Desktop Authenticator folder. Then we're going to copy over the Steam Desktop Authenticator folder to our TF2 bot folder. Okay, we're going to open the Steam Desktop Authenticator and we're going to run the application. So then we're going to click, this is my first time. Then click on set up new account. Fill in your username and password of your Steam account that you want to use as your TF2 bot. Then you need to go to your email and grab the code Steam sent you. Okay, so now it's going to prompt you if you want to encrypt it, leave this blank. We first need to be able to access it. I recommend though, later encrypting it. So you are now you have an R code, you need to save this on a paper. So after that, if you've already linked your phone to your account, you're going to get an SMS. Otherwise, you probably need to fill it in right now. And now you need to put in your R code. So after you've done that, you have successfully set up your Steam Desktop Authenticator. Now you're gonna have to wait 15 days until you can finally use the bot. So now we're finally done with setting up the Steam Desktop Authenticator, we can finally move on to actually downloading the bot. So we're going to need to install git. So I already installed Git, so I'm going to cancel it here, but you need to let it continue. After installing Git, we're going to have to install Node.js. So after you're done installing Node.js, you can finally actually download the bot. 
So open git bash in the folder and copy the command on screen. So after we're done downloading the bot and setting up the node.js commands, we can finally configure our environment file. Or in our case, we're going to use the ecosystem. Why we're going to use the ecosystem? Because it's supported by PM2 and that every time if your bot crashes, it will automatically restart. So we first need to install PM2 on our system. Because we're using Windows, we only have to use npm install minus g pm2. So after we're done installing PM2, we can finally copy over our ecosystem file and rename it to .ecosystem. So open it with notepad. And then here are all the options. So what you need to fill in is your Steam account name, your Steam password, your Steam shared secret, your Steam identity secret, and your beep backpack.tf access token and API key. To get your Steam Identity Secret and your Steam Shared Secret, go to your Steam Desktop Authenticator folder, open that, go to My Files, and then open your bot's My File with Notepad, and there it will be. So to get your Backpack.tf access token and API key, you're just gonna have to follow what's on screen because I can't show this on recording. Just follow these exact steps, or just follow the link in the description and read it for yourself. So now I'm going to show you guys how to start your bot, go to your TF2 Autobot folder, right click on it and use git bash. Make sure the Steam Desktop Authenticator has been activated for 15 days. After that you can write pm2 space start space dot ecosystem dot json and it will start your bot if set up correctly. And to actually see if your bot is actually running, go to your Steam page and it will say online TF2 Autobot. 